Previously on Fallout 4. Last I checked, I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet, you killed Coulter, I'm Nisha. I lead the disciples. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. We are the only gang you should be backing around here. I only know what I've heard. The story is that Gage talked Coulter into becoming overboss, and he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. <laughs> Why? Shit goes south. It ain't just your head they're gonna want on a stick. You've got a deal. You're the overboss. I wasn't planning on sleeping tonight anyway. I'll admit, I didn't think you'd make it this far. I can tell you're different than the usual invaders, so I'll not bother with the usual tricks and illusions I use to scare off the superstitious. When the bombs fell, everything changed. We changed. And somehow, I received a gift. Actual magic. The stuff of legends. Perhaps you'd like to see some. Up. 
No matter what you do, I can heal my friends, and we will protect what is ours! out of costume again. You know Nuka fires people for breaking character. Yes, of course, I'm kidding. But seriously, the clown makeup helps scare the invaders off. And there's a new one in the park. No, no, I don't think that's going to work this time. There's something different about this one. See? I can do that too. Now, stop squirming. Sorry. I know you can't help it. We just have to hold out till she gets back with a cure. Then we'll drive the raiders out and get the farm back in order. We'll fix this. I promise. There. Back in the afternoon. I guess we have where all the radiation is coming from right now. Huh? So I'll leave you to find your way out.
Suckers in the Commonwealth. Well, it seems your asinine assault won't be dissuaded. Then I guess it's time for our final act. Join me on the roof of King Cola's castle, and we'll see an end to this production. Sorry, already. There we go.
about you. I can't see you. Enough shit trying to kill me. I don't need to do it to myself with radiation. Let's move out. Going up. are all the same. You come into someone's home, steal their belongings, and kill those they care about. I'm not going to let you kill any more of my friends. This is our home, not yours. I'm not your enemy. This can end without bloodshed. We've defended this place for over 200 years. Do you think you're the first outsider I've met that's chosen to brand feral ghouls as monsters? How many of them have you needlessly slaughtered while ignorantly thinking you're doing the world a favor? Ghouls like your friends. It's too late for them. The radiation changed them. Forever. So you're admitting my friends are sick and yet you try to kill them anyway? I'd say that makes you the only monster around here. It's not a sickness. The radiation has consumed their minds. They've become feral. You're wrong. Rachel is going to find a way to cure them. We're going to fix this. My beloved left this place years ago to find a cure to this disease. In return, I swore that I'd keep our people safe by defending our home. When Rachel walks back through those gates with the cure in hand, then you'll see. Everyone will see. Sure. If there is a cure, the only way she'll find it is with your help. Maybe you're right. If Rachel is still out there, I'll find her, and we'll search for this cure together. I'll gather what remains of my friends, and we'll leave this place in your care. Don't worry about the radiation. It will no longer be a burden to you and your kind. Here, you should have this. Consider it an apology for misjudging you. <laughs> <laughs> 